ไปกดให้ใช่Everybody, today I'm going to be showing you five different types of cribs that you can make in Bloxburg. I have here all five different styles. Personally, I have a favorite, which is this one that Think Noodle over there has helped me create. He said, "Use a bunk bed," and I'm like, "Wait a second, how can you do that?" And he showed me, and that's personally his idea. So I'm super excited. This was a highly requested thing. I'll show you one of the requests someone did. So we have here five different styles, and I'm going to be walking you through and making them for you. So we're going to first start out with this first bed. I'm going to make it right in front because that's pretty much the easiest. We're going to grab a bed, which is the standard single bed, and let's just place it right here. Make sure it's in the middle. Whoa, where did that go? Oh, there we go. Make sure it's in the middle of those two squares. Then we're going to have some fences. We're going to grab these woven fences right over here, place them on this side, and then those side will have different types of fences. So we're going to place these, and these are the higher ones, so it looks like it's part of a wall too. And now I'm pressing space to get it over top view. You can change whatever color you want. I'm going to change it to this. So that's the baby blue. That's the white. Over here is the dark stone, which is right over here. And this doesn't really matter because it's like the feet of the bed, and you don't really see that. And then over here, we're going to color this all white so it matches. And blends in instead of lagging it out. Finally, I'm going to make sure this is the smallest platform instead of like moving it like big squares. We're gonna put it like that, and you don't want it to collide into the bed like that. So we're gonna move it a little bit out. If you put a wall, it's gonna be sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. Now, what else you can add? I didn't. Oh, I did add it there. So you get a fence, which is a smaller type of fence, and you can put it like that, and then it finalizes the crib right there. Next is one of the most difficult ones. This took me a while to build. I know it's a little lopsided, but I'm gonna try to fix that when I build it now. So what we're going to be doing is getting lots of chairs, as you can see. Um, I'm going to first start out with a table. Now you don't have to do this unless you want the bottom a different color. So I'm gonna put the tables like so. We're gonna have to put them a little bit closer together because the chairs can't reach out that far. We're gonna connect these like so. And also you're going to be needing advanced placement which is right over here. Um, so in, without that you're not going to be able to place things inside of each other and with that you're going to be able to do so it also costs robux on this game unfortunately but i totally recommend it <laughs> so many people are donating guys you don't have to i feel bad for taking their money um okay so after getting these tables oh gotta move that okay so now we're gonna get the standard chairs which are these simple chairs standard same thing for me we're gonna try and put them as into the tables as possible even though it may be a little bit difficult this is way too much uh-uh puppy lover <laughs> where are you at girl this goes to <laughs> she's running away <laughs> let's at least give her 10k because 30k is way too much for me to accept over here after doing those chairs you see how that one goes in a little bit more. We're going to put that in like so. And we're going to do that to all of the rest of the sides until it makes this combining shape over here. Okay, so now we got all four sides 
all together. Now I'm going to be coloring this a simple white with this texture and textures can only be used, well mostly be used on the PC since they have a more variety compared to some mobile devices. Now over here you can literally change whatever color you want for the inside. I'm just going to be doing pink because why not? You can also do blue, green, purple, any color you want pretty much. So then that looks like the completion. Now when you get out of build mode, I'll show you later, you can actually sit on top of these uh, tables because I added in the chairs. Now this is an optional um, part. I'm going to add fences all around here because then it covers most of the bottom. Now what I'm going to be doing is putting this to a white color and changing it to this wood this pearl white and over here we're going to color them like so then after doing that I'm going to grab some pillars not pads <laughs> uh, here we go and you can pretty much click any pillar you want I just going to go with this round simple pillar and place it like that right in the middle for all four sides now what we're going to be doing is coloring in this exact color which also matches the flooring and the fencing at the bottom. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> now after doing that, I'm going to go to the build all and then the lights. I personally love fairy lights, that's why I'm adding them in. You can put them in any uh, order that you want. I'm just going to do a regular outline of all four sides and then one in the middle. Now what I choose to do, now this is really up to you, so over here, whoa, what am I coloring? Um, over here is the string color, let's do black for this one, over there I did white. Uh, over here you could change the color to any one you want. Since this is like a pink theme, I'm going to go with this purple, and then I'm just going to change it up because, you know what, there's no such thing as too much color. So that's this crib. Honestly, it looks much better out of build mode. I'm going to be showing you how that looks out of build mode. Now we're going to have the simple, one of the simplest, honestly. You just need like two different parts of it. It's literally a sleeping bag right down there. Easy, easy, easy. So now we're going to get the fence, which is a plain quarter fence, and just stretch it like so, all four sides. Easy, there we go. And honestly, I'm just putting normal white colors. oh I don't want that normal white colors for the outlines of the beds you can actually put them in to match the crib color or any pretty much now since I did purple there I'm going to do the exact same now over here is the, the altar with this type of fabric it makes it a little bit brighter then we have the pastel violet which is somewhere over here along with the white color so that's that color. What you can also do is match it like that, but I personally like this white color to the outlines. And now here's a different type of bed. I actually created this design. I don't know if anyone else has done it, but I've never seen it. So what you get is this tall bed and put it down like that. Now uh, we get this fence and put it right at the bottom. I'm going to be having to move this bed back because we want it to look like a step. Over here we're going to be adding in this metal fence which will be like that and we're going to be coloring it wood because I like the wood color for this type of bed. Over here we can add the simply, whoa what, the simplicity dresser, sorry I cannot read today and just put it like that. Again you need advanced placement to place things inside of each other and now we're going to be getting a bookshelf sorry that took me a while and I'm going to change it like that so it's easier to turn and put it inside each other so that only these bunk bed parts are visible now the fun part we get to color so you get to this white over here and just click like that now this is the lily white so we have to find a uh, lily white over here uh -uh, that's not the color we want and let's find it we got the pearl there. It looks similar. Mid gray. I think it looks close enough. You know what? I'm, I don't want to spend like so long looking for it. And then over here, you could change the bed color. I'm going to put this as a 
bluish, the ghost gray. Over here, I'm going to be putting white, why not? I feel like this should be a little bit darker. The baby blue, there, uh, I don't know. The light blue, there we go. And then I'm gonna have this pillow dark because it gives contrast. Over here, you're gonna click this storage uh, closet and just click the bookshelf. Then I'm going to be clicking over here and we got the white color like so. And then for this, you're just gonna click over here like that and there we go, we got that one. Now, this is optional. We could um, decorate now. So what I am going to be doing is adding books because you know, uh, it's story time at night, so we love those books, and they also occupy space, so it doesn't look like the bookshelf is too empty. So I'm just going to be following in the steps that I did over here and pretty much just match it. Okay, so we got this bed already done. It looks pretty much identical. I'm pretty surprised at how well done I could mimic it. Um, over here, we're going to get a bunk bed now. This is our last one, our fifth crib. And we're going to get this new metal bunk bed and desk. It also brings a desk. Yes, I know, right? Oh, <laughs> what was that? I'm not okay. So now we're going to get this sleeping bag and just simply... I'm going to this over here we're gonna simply just put it at the bottom now I know oh that didn't work out now I know that this doesn't look quite like a crib but down here it kind of looks like a crib if you ask me I'm just gonna copy this color so we got the light blue with this type of texture over here the white which is right over here with this texture then we got this dark stone gray which is right in the middle and the white which is right over here now we're gonna get this color and put it right here, the pastel violet, which is over here, the white color, which is over here, and the Adler, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh-oh, and put it right over here. So that's like a boy and girl, or a girl and boy, or any color that you choose. Now I'm going to be getting the fences, yes, and outlining this all with the simple one. I know it comes out a bit, so that's a problem if you don't want to connect it to the wall, but it pretty much works if you want it. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it looks fine. Um, over here, we're going to be coloring in this white with this type of texture, so it blends everything in all together easily. After doing that, we're going to grab these woven fences again and pretty much just outline all three of these sides. Not the front because you want to be able to get into the, the bed. Now I'm going to be also coloring in these fences white because I want them to match. And I don't want them just to stand out because they're wood, so it looks better like this. Now after doing that, you see there's a shelf over here. You don't want a plain shelf. So while we're at it, I'm going to be decorating it with some books and some toys. I chose a unicorn because why not? I'm also going to be adding in some coloring pencils that I didn't add over there because it looks pretty cool. Here we have the books. Just twist down, which you can do how I'm doing this without um, using the changer, which is over here. I'm just clicking the left side of my mouse down and then I'm releasing it to be placed so then after we're going to be getting the alarm clock so we need to find that right now and I'm just going to be placing this like this I change it just like so and then to finish it off we just need that unicorn stuffed animal placing in right now right like that, yes, uh, I'm going to be also coloring it a brighter color and coloring in this purple, this is the pastel violet, and this is the royal purple, so now it looks great. So, what are we waiting for? Let's all test this out. Let's just test them out. Okay, I'm going to sit in this one. You see how it just, <laughs> they're standing on top of me. You see how I just can sit and just go around? We look so cute. It also fits in two, four, six, eight people if you wanted. So I'm gonna see if they're um, going to sit with me and try to fit in. I need to guess some people. Let's do that first. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this! 
<laughs> Everyone's just scramming in over here. This works out pretty good, I think. I'm claustrophobic. That's a mood right there. Uh, Jackie is over here showing and demonstrating that you can sleep right there. Then I'm going to be trying in this bed, which you can literally sleep. And you can put a wall over here if you wanted. They're stomping on my face. Love that. Um, <laughs> aw, look at Think. Oh, Think is the one that showed or gave me the idea of putting a bunk bed over here. Over here, she's saying, I love it. Thank you so much, Abby. Let's try and demonstrate if this person doesn't sleep right over here. There we go. And it also has like a, sh a storage unit. <laughs> She's like, oh no. Over here, we have two people sleeping. So this is for like a twin bedroom if you wanted. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope these five different bug beds were easy to make and helpful because I personally love making role plays with some fans and some people because they're fun to play around with and these are perfect for any kid bedroom if you want. Tell me down below any more ideas because I read the comments as we did with this one and this was suggested so thank you so much to the person who did so. Bye everybody and let's go to sleep! <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Bye!